Okay, guys, um, I'm just gonna pick up pick up where we left off here. Um, you're gonna go file uh, new Android project, or if it's not there, you can go to other, and then it'll be under your Android folder, uh, new Android project. And basically, this is gonna be your project name. Um, we're just gonna name it uh, Tutorial uh, Basics. <laughs> And then again, like I mentioned earlier, uh, here your your here your um, Android SDKs that you can use. Um, here's the AP levels. Again, if you have an older phone, you want to use one of the ones with the smaller AP. Therefore, like when you do the programming, if you use some function that uses a lot of processing, it probably won't let you do it. So you're gonna have to write it in a different way for it to work. But if you have a, a newer phone, you can use one of these. Um, higher levels and it's a uh, higher functionality rate better performance uh, such like that um, again if you create a project on here it'll run on any of these just fine um, we're going to go with android 2.2 because i have a droid uh, droid x so i'm just going to use that the application name is what's going to appear under your menu function on your actual phone under the icon so when you click it uh, whatever you want your project name to show up as on your phone. We're just going to go again the basics. The project or the package name, you want this to be unique because when you put it on the marketplace, you don't want it to match any other app that's out there. Most people do just com maybe their website backwards, something along those lines. I'm just going to do com corn boys the basics. And hopefully no one has that on the marketplace. Um, probably won't put this on the market. I might just as an example so you guys can download it and see uh, what the end result is. But as for now, I'm not going to. Create activity. Uh, this is going to be, um, if you guys are familiar with Java, it's fine if you aren't. I'm going to try and walk you through all the stuff you need to know. But this is basically your main activity or your main class in Java. You know how when you compile a project it's looking for the main uh, project to go to um, so we're just gonna put my my main the SDK version again we're gonna just look at the API level and since we click 2.2 we're just gonna put 8 here and then we're gonna hit finish and I, I want to uh, I'm gonna get you guys familiar with the layout of Eclipse uh, basically, um, here's all your Java Java activities. Um, this is where you can do all your programming in Java. The gen folder holds a resource file, which is uh, convert converts your resources into a Java app, and this will uh, this will be created automatically. Uh, so you won't have to worry about this file. Um, and Eclipse writes it. It writes uh, that project as you go and as you add to your project. Here's all your jars and your reference pack that you get with SDK. Um, you don't really need to know too much about this. Uh, basically what this is is when you use a class or a method from a different class this imports, these are your imports. So you can import uh, import one of these classes and then you can use the methods from it. We'll explain that or I'll explain that a little bit later but uh, if you know Java you probably kinda know what I'm talking about with that. Um, your assets are, are well, I'll get to that in a second. Here's your resources. This is basically uh, where all your graphics, your sounds, uh, your layouts, your backgrounds, everything that's uh, basically graphical or something you in need your uh, app to run will be held in these files. Your drawables, uh, this is where you hold your pictures. Um, uh, Eclipse or Android uh, basically pick, takes PNG files, um, JPEGs, or GIFs. So those are the main picture function or files that you're going to be using. Your layouts are going to be your XML layouts. Um, and basically to write a uh, app we're going to be using XML, Java, and eventually when we get into gaming we'll go C++ and uh, OpenGL. So we're going to learn basically all those programming languages. XML is pretty basic, it's pretty easy, and 
we're going to jump right into this uh, pretty soon here. But uh, values, this holds your strings and other um, other sort of information such as uh, like dimensions and the like. Uh, just basically, uh, and if you don't know what a string is either, that's fine. I'll get to that in a second. And then also you can have an XML file if you want, but uh, you can add that yourself. And basically when we write in, in our Java classes, we can reference our stuff from here to actually make it run on our program. The Android manifest XML. Uh, this is basically what um, what makes the program install onto the phone and actually launch when you click on the app. And we'll be adding to this in um, as well uh, during during our tutorial series. But also um, the Android manifest ask for per permissions and so basically anytime you want to use the person's phone like to access the internet if you need that for your app you'll have to ask permission so um, or like if you get an incoming text and you want your application to play Rick Rolled or so on someone something along those lines you're gonna have to ask permission to be able to receive incoming text or know when incoming texts are coming to the phone so we're gonna um, we're going to get into that later as well, but as a person downloads an app, they're going to have to see the permissions that your app's app, app asks for and accept those permissions. I'm sorry, I have a sore throat, so I apologize if I keep pausing. But so we're going to get, um, we're just going to create uh, a simple app here. Um, I'm going to have you create your own background for your phone. Uh, if you have Windows, you're going to have Paint. Obviously, you can use pretty much anything. So, if you have like Photoshop, you can obviously use that. I'm just going to use Paint. And this is, um, I'm not for sure exactly the size that you're going to want to use um, for the phones because obviously each phone has a different, a different screen size. We're just going to say something like this. And we're just going to create probably an ugly background that's not going to take a lot of time. But, uh, I'm just going to show you how to use some of these references. All right, yeah, that's pretty ugly. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And I hope you guys know how to to use paint at least. This is going to be our background that we're going to use for our application. And again, you want to save this into your drawable file. So you're going to have to find, um, okay, and you're basically going to have to save this to your drawable file um, in your, in your, uh, wherever you stored your workplace folder. Again, I put mine in Travis and, uh, let's see here, did YouTube tutorials. You open, that and I I did um, tutorials basic basics. So you go into your resources folder, and again I'm not for sure. I know these are th uh, three different quality of pictures. I'm not sure if that means low, medium, and high. I'm I'm not for sure exactly what those mean. But we're just going to use uh, the M one. When you save a background, you want to have it lower cased. Uh, the first first letter at least lowercase so I'm gonna say corn boys um, back background and the best platform to use would probably be a PNG uh, PNG file so we're gonna just save it and you're like probably wondering um it's not there yeah that happens sometimes and sometimes you get errors even though you wrote everything perfectly and you saved all your Java files but uh, something to to do just to get this more updated is go to project clean and then it'll clean your workplace and it basically reloads so yeah we got we got this now in, in our in our drawable file now here's the layout okay you you probably shouldn't be having these error messages I'm gonna try and figure this out real quick and clip the video <laughs> 